Hey there, Scott here, and it has been 20 years now since I moved away from home and left all my toys behind. Well, most of them anyway. But recently, my folks came to visit and brought me what they said was my collection of Transformers in this very box. Now, I have a hard time believing all the Transformers I had fit into this box. But let's open it. And keep in mind, I haven't seen this stuff for 20 years. So I don't know if I will know what to do with them. Keeping also in mind that I may like to sell some of these things. So we have some instructions for Evil Decepticon Megatron, which leads me to believe Megatron may be in here. All right, first find is not a Transformer. This is from Robotics, which was a modular robot building kit uh, which I have the full R2000 set and it's a good thing that I found this because I was about to list that on eBay I think or Kijiji. Uh, this belongs with it. There's a motor here and some walking legs and obviously ah, a power connector cord. What do we have here? This would be Red Fire Truck Guy. Uh, what is Red Fire Truck Guy's name? I will look it up and we will see it right here on the screen. Red fire truck guy. How do we make red fire truck guy go together? Currently, red fire truck guy is in semi robot form. Uh, oh, he's got a head. And he is mostly in robot form. So we need to put him into some kind of fire truck guy form. Now when I was a kid, doing this was easy. I mean it was, as they say, so easy only a kid could do it. Now, as a grown up, I am one of those guys who doesn't know what he's doing. And there are nerds watching on their computer who are thinking, dude, all you gotta do is put that there and that there. Seriously? I not a very convincing looking fire truck. I must be doing something wrong. But as you can see, it's in pretty decent shape. The ladder goes up. There's, I guess, a little bit of yellowing from the sun on the white ladder, but otherwise it's in good shape, except for the fact that I don't know how to put it into vehicle form. What do we have here? Oh, I'm going to save that one for later. This is, uh, is, uh, this is Gun Guy. Uh, if I recall correctly, this wasn't even from the proper Transformers line. This was from another line of toys and Hasbro appropriated it for the Transformers line. This, however, is not a Hasbro. This is a knockoff. This is a bootleg uh, Transformers type toy from uh, Flea Market, I think, or you know, kind of place that would sell bootleg Transformers back in the mid 80s. Um, what's this guy called? Shockwave, I'm gonna guess. We'll look it up, put it on the bottom of the screen. It is probably from the very same molds, could even be from the same factory for all I know. It's listed on the stickers as Astro Magnum. Any other markings I can find on this? Mm, it's a little dusty, eh? And I don't know, oh, the battery's Thorpe on one side, Thorpe and Magnoid. I have this sneaky feeling there's batteries in here. And if there's batteries, batteries can leak. And leaky batteries make for yucky toys. Um, because when you pull the, oh, there we go. So the nine volt goes in there. You assemble dude, thing goes up, and these things somehow go together. When dude's, I think when dude's head is in, ah, 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 ah. 
sure when I was a kid I would be frustrated with me if I could go back in time and bring that kid here. That kid would probably smack me. Alright, so these guys go together. And these things go in there, and he becomes some kind of laser gun. And you pull the trigger and it makes a noise, and things light up. Obviously missing the battery cover, but thank goodness it wasn't leaking. Alright, so that was, I guess, Shockwave. I'm gonna guess on that one. This is one of the insect robots. Uh, this is known as some kind of grasshopper guy. Grasshopper guy? Grasshopper guy is known as... Yes, we'll put that on the screen. Uh, I seem to remember getting this around Easter time. I don't know why that rings a bell, but around Easter time in whatever year this came out. And I don't even know which format is in right now. Here, let's turn that around. I haven't seen a lot of grasshoppers around the garden this year. Grasshopper guy. Again, not a very convincing grasshopper. I don't know what was supposed to go in there. Grasshopper guy. Alright, what do we have here? Another not transformer. This is... Who is this even made by? Singapore. Tomi. So this would probably be a GoBot? GoBots were... Well, they came out about the same time as Transformers, but if I recall, they were not nearly as cool at the time. They were perceived as being the knockoff. I don't even know if this would be a GoBot. This guy's pretty crappy. At the time, I would have been happy to have anything, though. Is that what it does? Just the arm things move, and then the... I feel like there's supposed to be more to this. Eh. Doesn't really do any of it. Oh. Oh, it drives on its own. Ah. Okay. Uh, what do we have here? Tank guy. Tank guy. Um, this one came out not long after the Transformers acquired the little thermal dealies that you, you put your thumb on, maybe you rub it, you heat it up, and it will show you whether it's a good guy or bad guy. This is a good guy. And a little tiny one. This one's labeled 1984, originally uh, made by Takara, Japan. I'm not even going to try to transform this one. It's too little. I have no patience. Dude. This is the one of two big finds in here. It looks like a piece. That's what kids would want today. They'd want a gun. Kids love guns. But no, this is the evil leader of the Decepticons. This is our old friend, Megatron. And this one, it's all coming back to me. And as you can see, uh, there we go. Mm. Like, usually the secret to doing these is you just keep futzing with them. And eventually, you'll find out there's, there's pieces that are loose and that you can put them together. I really should watch how I'm lining up my shot. And there we go. Very poorly done, but there's your Megatron right there. As you can see, the uh, logos have faded a little bit. It's wiping off some sweat. This little logo here, faded a bit. Logo here, faded a bit. Otherwise, this thing's in great shape. This guy. Uh, from the Dinobots line. This Dinobot. I used to make animated movies with this dude. Um, yeah, I'm not going to bother transforming it. This, is, this should be an in-demand one, right? This, this, this one's pretty awesome. Uh, T-Rex kind of deal. Sure oh, that's name. Yeah. Good friend. It'll be a good one.
Oh, we had a little tank guy. Dig this. This is a big tank guy. Where's the best angle for this one? This one here. This, if I recall correctly, and keep in mind, the whole point of this video is that it's been more than 20 years. Uh, I think this thing turns into an airplane. Mm. We got feet here, maybe. Feet. Oh, turns into an airplane and a robot guy. Somehow. Yeah. Uh, tank, airplane, robot. Anyone know what this one's called? Worth anything? <laughs>